Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Um, today I thought I'd talk to you about eyelining and tight lining and how, in my opinion, it's the secret to anti-aging and eye defining and just waking your face up. Just take a look at my face. This is my face with my five minute everyday face makeup on. So I've got my concealer on, I've got my powder on, my mineral powder, my blusher and my lips in but no eye makeup at all and I have quite small quite asymmetric eyes which would normally be a nightmare to eyeline but over the years I've learned two tricks that I really think are foolproof otherwise I wouldn't be able to do them. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I eyeline my eyes to lift them to make them look younger to make them look more defined. On a day-to-day -day basis what I actually use is a powder. I've never really mastered liquid liners at all. I've got a, a times 30 mirror in front of me here. So I'm gonna lean super close. So, oh my God, prepare yourself. Um, but I'm going to try and show you how I do it. Uh, and I don't normally do it in a times 30 um, mirror. I normally do it in just a normal mirror and then check it with a times 30 mirror afterwards. But for the point of filming, I want to try and get it to look as accurate as possible. Two things I use. I use um, a Bobbi Brown eye shadow. Uh, it's called Black Plum. It's a really, really dark browny black colour. More flattering than a black. And then I use an angle ended brush. Have a look at that. That is a really old Elizabeth Arden one, but I found nothing better. Slightly sort of firm um, bristles. Anyway, it's really simple to do and it's kind of idiot proof. No worrying about sort of wings or liquid liner or having a steady hand. So let's go in and have a look. Prepare yourself for a close up. Okay, so I've loaded the brush up and then I go in, I pull my eye. I mean, they say you shouldn't pull your eyes, but for God's sake, I mean, it's only for a couple of seconds. I have to, you have to pull your eye out as you get older because otherwise you're gonna get lines in it where your, your skin drags. So basically I pull my eye out and then I start at the middle and in short strokes, I work my way out. And then load the brush again. Better to load it twice than to make a complete mess of your face, obviously. And then I go back in and I like quite a thick line, I must admit. And then, you see how that automatically goes up at the edge. And then I just wipe my eye on my um, finger underneath and it sort of drags it up and out in a really soft line. That's what I mean by the little gaps in it as you get older. It's a complete pain. But um, it's part of the thing of having laxer skin when you get older. One eye done, one eye not done. That's so, that simple, that quick. Anyway, let's go in and do the other eye. As I said, I've got completely asymmetric eyes, but this somehow seems to even them out. Um, start at the middle, work your way out, go across. My powder is so much easier than liquid liner. And I think as you get older, it's, it's more flattering and softer. I remember trying a liquid liner recently and my boyfriend came home and he went, it's a bit Amy Winehouse, and I was just testing out liquid liners for Hello, so, but it did look harsh on me. It looks so beautiful on young, gorgeous, firm, huge eyes. But I think like most of us, if you have slightly asymmetric eyes or you've got smaller eyes like me and they're hard to define, it's just softer and prettier, but still defining. So let's go back in again. There you go. And up and out, that has smudged underneath which again is a bit of a problem when you do this. That's the only problem with powder eyeliner actually, it has a tendency to go under your eyes. And a lot of makeup artists actually do the eyeliner first and then do the foundation for fear of it smudging. Determined to get that little bit in there. There you go, two lined eyes. Not difficult to do, even with me gabbing on, only takes a couple of seconds. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of really simple to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, normally I would put my mascara on, 
but I'm going to show you how to intensify the line and it's something I do for night and that's called tight lining and you might have seen the word tight lining and think what the hell is tight lining well I was introduced to it by two makeup artists a makeup artist that works for Laura Mercier called Matan and we used to do this incredible event all the beauty editors did we used to go to Selfridges and do something called Beauty Editors Playground which was for Look Good Feel Better which is a charity that helps women come to terms with the effect that their cancer treatment has on their look so they lose their hair they lose their eyelashes they lose their eyebrows and this woman came on counter and she was amazing she was undergoing breast cancer treatment and she had a scarf on and she just said the worst thing is I know how to pencil my eyebrows in because everybody knows how to pencil their eyebrows in most of us do it but I don't know what to do with my lack of lashes it, and she started to tear up and Matam was so wonderful he's this incredible red carpet makeup artist that works in LA and he did tight liner on her and he used this pencil and I've never forgotten it and it's why I still love it and I still use it and you can tell I use it because look how tiny it is it's a Laura Mercier um, let me get the Espresso Longwear Cream Eye Pencil. Again, it's a dark brown, so it suits all. And he did this incredible thing, and this is tight lining, and this is going to be a bit squeamish for some of you that don't like eyes. But basically, you put a longwear cream or a gel eyeliner into the upper waterline, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you how it intensifies it. So look at this. Soft, pretty, everyday makeup, okay? And this is how you intensify it for night. Or I do it a lot for TV, okay? But warn you, I'm gonna have to kind of pull my eyes around slightly, but this is how it works, okay? So you go in, you lift your eye, and then it goes along the waterline there. So. It's a weird thing, but you kind of close your eye to do it. I don't know how that works, but it does. Okay, so I lifted my eye to show you where it goes, and then you sort of look the opposite way and drag it. And then the other thing I do is I then go, sorry, pulling my eyes again, into the base of my lashes there, because any gaps. So you see the top of the pencil? is going into the base of the lashes. There you go. Can you see the difference between that eye and that eye? It's just much more intense. The other makeup artist that showed me how to use it, and actually what she used was the Bobbi Brown um, Eye Definer, which is a really short, stubby version of the Estee Lauder one I just used. And then she used Black Ink, which is the Longwear Gel Liner by Bobbi Brown. And you'll not be surprised to hear that it's the brilliant Hannah, um, who is the makeup artist that work on Will and Kate's wedding. And um, I turned up to do an event for them and she looked over my makeup. She's such a lovely lady. And she said, do you mind if I just tight line you? And I was like, oh God, yeah, of course. And she used the gel to do it. And it gives a more intense version with the gel. And oh my God, it stays in place no matter what. So it's brilliant for the red carpet. And every time I see her now, she goes, still with your tight line on. Anyway. It's kind of harder with a gel and a brush, um, but I think it's easier with a pencil. The other one I, I really, really love is, you can tell I use them, look, Buried Treasure by MAC. Again, it's a dark brown with almost a hint of a shimmer to it, which sounds vile, but it's absolutely beautiful. They're definitely the most flattering and easiest to use and long lasting I've used. In fact, let me put Buried Treasure on the other eye. Okay, so there's Buried Treasure. <laughs> you need a, a a relatively firm but quite easy creamy glide on eyeliner to do this and I couldn't recommend these two enough okay so let's go in with the other eye with buried treasure forgive me I'm going to pull my eye around okay so here it goes up under that water line there and then like I said you kind of close your eyes to do it it sounds so weird you kind of do it by touch there you go. And then back in, you can see the slight shimmer on this, or you can in the size 30, size times 30 mirror. Back in and along, just to make sure that there are no missing pieces. And then that little thing I always do at the end. So one is slightly more shimmery than the other. And actually, can you see where it's gone slightly on my lower waterline? quite like that. 
It's a bit sort of Kate Moss, I've slept in my eyeliner, Charlotte Tilbury, but I think it's quite sexy. I wouldn't actually waterline my bottom line because I think it tends to close my eyes. And you notice I don't put any liner under my eyes. But I think the secret to anti-aging eyelining is, so powder on the top, waterline underneath, and then with two clean fingers, you kind of do that and go up and out. And it kind of gives you this natural, quite soft, slightly imperfect eye lift, which I quite like. And then what I would do to finish it off, so there you go, there's the eyeliner done. Oh God, I, honestly, if I had to choose one thing in my makeup kit, I think it would be my eyeliner. I absolutely love it. I feel like I've got, you know, no eyes at all without my eyeliner. And I'm gonna go in with my, you know, wonderful Masterpiece Max Mascara, which I still think is like the best high street mascara. Um, and I'm just gonna do a quick two coats of mascara just to show you how it finishes when it's all done. I'll fast forward this so you don't have to watch this. This is very boring. I've talk, talked about how to do um, mascara before. Just noticed how smudged it all is. I quite like that imperfect look though. I quite like that sort of Kate Moss, sexy slept in eyeliner look. I love that Charlotte Tilbury sleeps in her eyeliner. I don't because I've got quite sensitive hay fevery eyes at this time of year and they would be glued together if I did that. But I like the theory of it. I used to do it a lot in my 20s when I was cool. Just a little along the bottom. Again, I've smudged that. Makeup is not a perfect science. What I need to do is go back in now. In fact, what I would do is I would go back in now with a brush and I would powder under my eyes to get any droplets off. It's not perfect. Makeup isn't perfect. Not in real life it isn't anyway. It's just an idiot proof five minute guide to eyelining. I just, if you haven't got time to master a liquid liner, you haven't got the skills to master a liquid liner, you don't have the eyes for liquid liner. I always wanted Madonna eyes and I haven't got them. Then a powder is soft, it's easy to do, it's anti-aging, it's, it's subtle. And then just go in with a tight liner underneath. And the easiest way to do it is one of the two pencils. Stick to a soft brown and it flatters most skin tones. Um, black is beautiful for evening if you're brave enough. Navy looks gorgeous on green and hazel eyes and blue eyes. But I kind of kind of my version of a kind of slept in Charlotte Tilbury Kate Moss look and I kind of like it. So there you go, that's the beauty know it all guide to anti-aging idiot proof eyelining. Will you do me a favour? Mention some of the products that you love for eyelining below. I will list all of the products I've mentioned today and brushes. Some of my brushes are no longer available but I just love them. They last for years but I'll, I'll mention the equivalent brushes below so you can master this art. And I'm just going to pick it up now. That's my, ooh, smeared Times 30 makeup mirror, which I have mentioned so many times. It's scary to look in a Times 30 mirror, but I would rather see my imperfections before everybody else. Subscribe, ask me some questions. That's what I'm, I'm here for. Uh, only by sharing my knowledge can you two become the beauty know-it-all. Mm -hmm.